Oh, I'm in space. Huh. Oh, okay. Hey, can I get down? Nope. Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to Vex's Test World. Some episodes of Vex's Test World, I have everything done in advance, and I just want to show something off. Other episodes, I don't know how something's going to turn in, turn out in advance, and it may even fail, and I learn with you on camera. This episode is the latter. I want to try some stuff, and I have no idea if it's going to work out. So, this will be me derping around, uh, trying to figure stuff out. So, if you've watched the sister series, Mapping with Vex, you saw me developing a nice whirlpool, and we have imported one of them onto Vex's test world, and this episode, I want to see just what I can do with magical whirlpools. Uh, I want to use them as a sort of traveling system. Basically, I think it'd be cool to for them to teleport you somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking into some, like, you go into a whirlpool and it sucks you down into an underground cave. I could almost do that with just no, uh, I could do that with no actual teleporting. I could just have water flow you down into a cave, but I want it to be really safe for the player. Uh, first off, let's establish, I'm pretty sure, I already know the answer to this, I think, but this would... Okay, that's only going to be when monsters go on it. Uh, I want something that will only, like, so for example, if I grab a, uh, where's a, yeah, a mooshroom will work. Let's grab a mooshroom, and if I spawn a mooshroom on this, oh, there I go, okay. Sorry, mooshroom, you must die. Whack, come back, yeah, there we go. And uh, the fire, oh, you know what, let me go stop those stupid things. I'm pretty sure I have a switch over here. That'll turn them off. Yeah. Whack. There we go. Alright. Uh, where is the switch that only activates when a player gets on it? Is it this one? I haven't used I have not used these in forever. Uh, is it this one? Okay, that's me. No. That would activate when an entity gets on it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, the player only pressure plate is part of the Feed the Beast mod. The Obsidian pressure plate. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, it's not in vanilla Minecraft. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we can do something like... Yeah. 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 Uh, we can do something like... Yeah. And then this can be a slash test for at p of r equals, I don't know, four, five. You have to be really close to it. Uh, and then this is going to be a little, okay, well, I wanted a single, single command block here is what I was hoping to get away with, but... If I have to do a test for block, then that's all right. Then we can have the repeater coming out of it, and then another block, and then that can be the payload TP at P, you know, and meh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you found me. Huh. I must be really bad at this or something. Or maybe I'm overlooking something. I'm, yeah, it found me. Yes, hi. Am Vetches. Hi, yes. But I'm not getting signal out of it. Uh, so no signal out of a repeater. Right, okay, okay. I, I was getting something out of the comparator in... Okay, so the comparator uh, A input is in the back, and then a B input would be something from the side. And then in uh, subtraction mode, no, we want it into, no, not in subtraction mode. We want it into comparison mode. So the side input is zero. And then any input from the command block 
ought to be well let's wait a minute is this powered oh I get it I thought the I thought this turned... Alright, so let's say... Alright, that's redundant. We don't need that. Okay. So let's have it test for me. Yes, it finds me. Hi. I fly away. Alright, alright. I misunderstood the test for command and how it worked. I thought once it would test for when it got a redstone pulse, right? And that's true. It does. But I thought when it lost when the command block became unpowered it would stop but it looks like it tests for and it's a one-time switch so it goes off and then it doesn't reset until if I sit on it again yeah it found me again but if I do say hi you won't say hi because uh, the signal hasn't been reset yet. Great. Does this work? No. Well, dang. I was trying to. What I was trying to do is make a player-only pressure plate, like a pressure plate that'll only activate when a player gets to it. And I thought it would be really easy. I just use a test for command. So if a monster falls on this, it'll test for the player and then not activate. Uh, the only problem is that it's uh, one... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, uh, um, uh, payload, and can we get some sort of... Uh, You can just hear like the little wheels slowly turning as I work this out. No, this is hard. I know, I know what I want to do, but okay, fine. I'll just do it. I'll just do it, and me it'll be messy looking. Okay, I think this should actually work. God, it looks so horrible looking. So I hit this, and it flings me away, and then it should have turned itself off. Did you turn yourself off by not detecting me? And then, no, oh wait, no. Oh, I know there's got to be a way to do this! Uh, uh, life, uh, 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 Vex, uh, finds a way. Um, if we make it a, that's subtraction mode. And subtraction is uh, zero, uh, what is this, one, I think, isn't this one? Yeah, one. This is one minus zero, so it outputs one. That's how that works. And then this is compari uh, comparison mode, and that's uh, the butt signal is greater than the side signal. Therefore, butt signal gets output. Uh, I believe that's how comparators work, I'm pretty sure. And I just described it in an interesting way. Okay. Okay, so we're going to test for, and I'm pretty sure I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to put down redstone, and things will happen, and who knows what will happen. Something's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but something's going to happen. Are the, how does this reset itself? Doesn't it need a... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing things. Uh, does this work? Is this how to do it? You found me. Now output the thing there. Oh, wait a minute. That's No, wait, no. That's going to be 1 minus 1. Oh, no. That's a full strength signal. Oh, right, that's a full-strength signal. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... No! <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I am a redstone expert. You know how Zisto is a lava expert? I'm a redstone expert. Just trust me, I'll get this. What if we loop it back into itself? So that when it goes off, it uh, tests for it itself. I mean, not, not itself, but like, okay, so it goes off and then... Yeah, you found me. Stop. Okay. And the it'll reactivate itself if I put if I put this down. There. Now did it turn itself off by not being able to find me? No. It didn't. Okay. I don't know. Uh so the thingy comes out here, and then it goes back in. Dang it! Why can't I be better at redstone? I need to take some of my terrain crafting skills and, and like morph them into redstone skills just a little bit. Maybe like 10 grams of map, uh, map sculpting skill and transmute that. It's like law of equivalent exchange, and I'm not giving, I'm not giving up an arm or a leg for this. Although, it would be pretty cool to be able to do redstone without a transmutation circle. Uh, oh, by the way, if you haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, watch it! It's really good! It's a lot better than the first anime. Probably because the first anime didn't follow the manga at all. Well, I mean, it followed it for a bit. And then, uh, No, this is a Vex's Test World. I don't ramble on this. <laughs> well, okay. So... I couldn't figure out how to do the thingy I was trying to do. Uh, so maybe... Maybe I should just keep it simple, but... Uh, and do just a plain old, you know, teleporter underneath... A teleport command block underneath a slime block with a detector plate uh, stuck on top of it. Uh, or maybe a... I don't know, maybe a button... Something. Uh, or I could... No, I just need to know how to reset a test for... How do you reset a test for a command block? Hmm. Maybe a test for command block with a piece of... Uh, a block of redstone attached to a sticky piston, and I don't know. Oh, uh, I did make out of, I got bored and I made a um, thing. I made an auto bouncer, eternal bouncing thingy. Yeah. It, uh, it summons, basically it's just a, it's a, it's a sticky, it's a slime block stuck on a piston. And when it goes off, it also automatically summons a stone pressure plate. So this thing, it just summons a replacement pressure plate for the one that pops off. Which is kind of neat, I guess. Uh, so if you don't care about giving, giving the player tons of pressure plates... Uh, you can just have something like this that... Maybe have a maybe have a lot of them in an area and let the player just bounce all over the place on them. It'd be kind of funny. Uh, I don't know. I just I just thought it was neat. I just like it. It's kind of like um one of those uh one of those most pointless machines. It's like a box with a switch on it, and when you push the switch, a little arm comes up and turns the switch off. It, it's kind of like that. It's like, oh, I'll push the thing to knock the plate off. Oh, it resummons a new plate, and it just keeps going on. And on. And on. And on. And on. And on. And on. Uh, okay, so the whirlpools... Also, what I, what I had wanted... Like, ideally, what I was trying to create was... The player goes down into the whirlpool, right? And so he goes down in here... And he steps on a pressure plate. 
he gets teleported to another whirlpool somewhere else in the map. And not only does he get teleported there, he also gets launched. The player also gets launched out of the whirlpool. Like, it spits him back out and into the water somewhere. And then if he wanted to, he could come back into the whirlpool and go back into it. And it's a two-way, basically like a two-way uh, thing. It's linked. Uh, and the other one would spit him back out. So basically, you go in the whirlpool, you come in another one, and it flings you out. And I was trying to figure out a way to use the uh, the sticky block. Uh, the slime blocks on pistons, like, this would actually work, this kind of setup, like, it teleports the player right on top of this, and then they just get flung off, and it summons a replacement, so basically the teleport coordinates would be right above here, so, boop, and it just flings you off, and then it resets itself to go on indefinitely, um, Well, actually, wait a minute. I guess I could have that. The only problem is if a monster comes down here and gets on this uh, pressure plate. I don't want a monster to come down here and get on the stupid thing. So, how would we do that? How can we make how can we make a pressure plate that only emits a signal when Why don't I just use a spawner? Oh my god, that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? I'm sitting here trying to use the... Stuck on the idea of using a pressure plate. Why don't I just make a monster spawner down here somewhere that has a spawn rate? Uh, I can use my proximity detector. Like, you come down here and it detects you, and then it just flings you out. Uh, right. Right. Oh, that's so easy. That's so easy. Why did... Uh... Can I teleport a player and then impart momentum to them with a command block? Can you impart momentum to players with a command block? Like, can I just fling a player with a command block? I don't... Can I do that? To the wiki! Ah, ah, damn it, dinner bone! Oh, fuck! God! Derp! Ow! God! No! 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 <laughs> she! Where am I? Oh, I'm in space. Huh. Oh, okay. Hey, can I get down? Nope. Nope. No, not my no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that way. That way. That way. Right there. No, stop it. Stop it. Right there. Go fly that way. No. No. God damn it, Dabo. God. Okay, wait, we're going back down. No, we're going up. And we're going back down. And we're going up. And fly! Yes, now go down. Fly. Okay, good. Now shift. Shift and down we go. Nope, 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 nope. I will get past you. <sighs> Maybe. If I'm invisible, the TNT will not see me. This is what I get for listening to Dinnerbone and typing in... Tr like... I... Down we go. The TNT will never see me. I am invisible. Oh my god, holy shit, did that work? No. Oh, no, it didn't work. Ow, 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 ow. No. That way. Yes, go that way. Ow, 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 ow. Nope. 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 Down. Do, am I going down? I can't tell if I'm going down or not. Am I going down? No. I can't get through this. 
I'm on creative mode, and I cannot get even... Oh, you are a trolly, trolly bunny. You're a trolly, trolly bunny. That's funny. Funny, trolly bunny. Funny bunny. You can't see it, but I'm just like... I have my elbows on my desk, and I'm just face palming. I got trolled by Dinnerbone. Okay, so... I asked Dinnerbone if there's any way to fling a player with uh, command blocks, you know, like fling, like, you know, backslash fling at P, you know, X momentum 1, Y momentum 5, Z momentum 2, fling. That command doesn't exist. It totally should. That would be awesome. And just, or fling, you know, at E, you know, fling a... Basically, use a command to impart momentum. Uh, the idea is like, so you go in a roll pool and you get teleported and then flung. So it teleports you and then flings you out. So two command blocks, one for the teleport, one for the fling command. So Dinner Bun Bun was like, oh yeah, try some TNT. And I was like, well, I'd have to give him resistance first. And so that's another command block and then... And then I'd have to summon some TNT. And in the Whirlpool, the redstone contraption can't be all that big. It's got to be reasonably tiny. Uh, so he's like, hey, try this command, which isn't... I can't get it anymore. But he's like, try this TNT command. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. And so I attached it up to a minecart thing, because I wanted to see how it would fling me. And I was not prepared for the degree to which it rockets me off into space, and now I'm banned from my own test world. Can't get back to it. <sighs> Alright, let's go into MC Edit and just... Uh... Alrighty, uh, test world. Let's see. Well, there's a chunk ripped out of my thing. Same over here. It's just ripped out of... Oh my gosh. I guess I'll leave that as damage as a memory. Um, where's the culprit? There's the culprit. There it is. This thing right here just needs to just die. Okay, there. Alright, that should fix it. Alright, let's go back to Minecraft and see if... Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Okay, uh, I think... I think we're, we got this. Am I falling? All right, I'm falling. Here we go. Here we go. Whack. All right. Peace and quiet. Oh, my gosh. Dinner bun bun. You trolling. You trolling. Very troll. There's a moose room here. Okay. All right. Well, you must die. And then... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's real cute. That is real... Yeah... Okay. I'll have to remember that. I'll have to remember that command. Oh my gosh. So, okay. Let's review. Because I think, I think I'll wrap this up. Let's review. Alright, so Whirlpool looks nice. Command block test 4 to make a mob-proof pressure plate. A, I have I have learned I have uh, I would not call this video a failure. I have been wildly successful at learning how to not make what I wanted to make. On that front, I have had amazing success at learning how to not do what I want to do. Uh, I have learned that command block code received from Dinnerbone should be treated with some degree of healthy suspicion. Or immediately placed into a command block cart on powered rail and enthusiastically because the results might be hilarious. <clears throat> you know, Either way, either one, either one of those works. And we have been outright successful on one front. We have developed a 
automatically resetting player bouncy machine that just bounces the player forever and ever, never stopping, because it summons its own replacement. Uh, woo, wow, that was a good one. That one got me. Because it summons its own replacement pressure plates. So that's pretty cool. So that's a success. We can, we'll call that a win. Oh my god, I feel like Joe Hills. I feel like Joe Hills doing redstone. Oh my gosh, wow. Whee! Hmm. This warrants further investigation, I believe. I believe, yes, this... We need to further investigate player-only pressure plates. Like, I want to get a redstone signal from a pressure plate in a reasonably small... in a reasonably small... Uh, area for the contraption. And it's got to be player-only, so just give me a redstone signal out of a... Out of a pressure plate that's player only. You know what? I'm pretty sure. Hold on a sec. <gasps> I know. Alrighty. I got it. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, this is a pressure plate. There's a pressure plate right there. Uh, if a monster, if a monster activates it. He can activate it all he wants, and I won't be teleported. Say, uh, if I activate it, I get teleported. Wee, and that's it. Uh, it is made. Pretty sure you can probably guess how it's made. You heard the piston, right? It is. Uh, you remember how I could lock and unlock that uh, spawner by getting uh, the spawner for the... Yeah, right here. So that's my villager spawner. And you're not supposed to spawn outside this, you cluser. Let me get some glass real quick. There we go. Uh, there. So all that happens is... You step on the pressure plate, it retracts the piston, that clears the spawn space, and a villager spawns in there. And now why a vill why is a villager not spawn? Oh wait, there he goes. So pretty simple stuff. And then the piston, once you're away from it, once you're off the plate, the uh, the piston resets because the villager's gone. So I think, yeah, seems to work pretty well. So there you go. That is a uh, that is a player only pressure plate in Minecraft. In Feed the Beast, that would be an obsidian pressure plate. In Minecraft, it's this contraption. Uh, all you got to do is just rig up a a spawner. This spawner has a, a detection, a player detection range of like five, I think. So that's all you got to do. It's pretty simple. And I was over here trying to look at this. Look at all these shenanigans. Look at... That's what I have to say to that. Good old spawners. I love spawners. They never seem to let me down. You notice that? Whenever redstone fails me, admittedly because maybe I'm, you know, average at redstone, um, spawners come through. But that's actually good, though, because... I think, especially for the viewers, this right here is a lot easier to understand than uh, a bunch of redstone-y, computer -y stuff. Um, yeah. So, at least my builds are... I think most of what I do is pretty easy to understand and when I break it down. And I do like that. I like that I'm not building... Uh, extremely complex redstone devices that most players of the game would have a very hard time understanding. I like, I, I do kind of like that everybody can 
look at what I do and be like, oh, okay, I, I get that. I get that. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, that's that's it. This is I'm going to have to edit this episode down. I've been rambling and doing too much stuff, so I'll try to cut it down to more of the highlights, I suppose. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you all next time. And until then, as always, take it easy. Nah, splash. <laughs>